hey there welcome back you're at the thrifty journal shop my name is amber if you're new here welcome okay so it is part two of making this um really cool funky uh fall leaf bright color junky art journal <laughs> okay if you haven't seen the first video of making the cover i will link it down below and today we are going to fill the journal with um, pages and we're going to put some pockets and we're also going to sew the signatures in. All right, in the last video, we left off with me just kind of explaining what kind of papers you could gather, whatever basically you had on hand, any kind of scraps. I um, had a backdrop that I used to paint the cover and what I did was I um, I added some extra paint to that and you saw me stencil some paper and then I have some wrapping paper I just pulled some junk mail um, I've got like some magazine pages so what I did is I've got 11 pages in each signature okay you can put as many papers as you want in your signatures and then I already paper clipped them together so I just line them up, I paper clip them. Uh, a lot of times if I'm making a journal though, I will go through and I sew, but I'll sew on fabric and all of that. But we're not gonna um, sew fabric. I am gonna um, go through and we're gonna staple some fabric if you wanna add fabric. And if you're not a sewer, I'm gonna show you how to add fabric to the pages that, that way. All right, but first off, let's give the inside of the journal some pockets. So I have already cut some fabric down. You can use fabric or you can use scrapbook paper or um, any anything you wanna add. And if you don't want pockets, that's a-okay. I like to add pockets because I like places to tuck um, things in. So I am just going to use this book here I'm gonna use my tacky glue. Let's see. And I am just gonna run it down here and around. You can use whatever kind of glue you have. Um, a lot of times, sometimes, sometimes I'll use my glue gun. I find that the turbo um, tacky glue works really well. I think it's a little stronger than the normal tacky glue. And a lot of times it doesn't seep through the fabric. I put a pretty good amount. A lot of times I'll smear it with my finger and just kind of draw it down so it doesn't seep through the fabric. I am just going to give a nice generous bead and yeah, you can run your finger down a little bit um, if you want. And then just pressing it down. And then you want to allow, whoops. <laughs> okay. And then you just want to allow that to dry. And then after you know it dries, if you need to add more glue to the sides, you can do that. You can go right ahead and do that. So we're going to let this dry and then we're going to um, add the signatures and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, the pockets are all dry and now I'm going to add my signatures. And you're going to need some kind of book, something pretty sturdy that you can... Um, use the awl to poke through so you're not poking through your counter okay i'm just using a book here all right and what i usually use is i usually use graph paper when i um make my spine or when i'm gonna put my signatures in okay and honestly i am not this precise measure so i don't get crazy with a ruler I like to use the graph paper because it has the lines already on it and I don't have to like use a ruler and draw straight lines. So a lot of times what I do is I will, you know, cut the paper to fit the spine and then I fold it in half and I do use the half mark. Um, that's usually like my middle um, hole. 
and we're just gonna do like a three hole pamphlet stitch. And then I usually add one, you know, up at the top. I, I do measure a bit and try to have them spaced out um, equally, but like I said, I, it's not perfect. And I do the same thing on this side, okay? So I've done that already. I kind of eyeball it, I'll be honest with you, okay? Uh, a lot of times I'll write top up here, just so I know, okay? And I just hold this down. You can tape it down if you want to. I'm just gonna hold it down and I'm just gonna take my all. This is, um, you know, I've got a couple of these. I think I got this one actually at Home Depot. And because this is cardboard and there's three layers, we'll see here if it um, goes through. Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera too much. Okay. All right, let's see if it went through. And then I usually just make sure that it went all the way through. Just be careful, you don't wanna poke your finger Okay, there we go. And now we have our two signatures. Okay, and for these papers, I do it two different ways. A lot of times I just, I line it up and I eyeball, I eyeball it too. Other times I'll take my paper and I might lay this in here. Like if this is my back, if this is my back signature and this is my front one, then I will use this. I will line it up like this in here and um, I'll just line it like this and I'll follow the dots and I'll poke holes there. And then this is the back one. And then for this one, I'll use these holes. But a lot of times I've done this so much that now I just, I line it up. I make sure, you know, it's not hanging out or hanging above and I, I eyeball it, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be my front and this is gonna be my back. I like to work from the back to the front. You can do however you want, all right? And remember I said you're gonna need some kind of wax thread and a needle. What I do is I usually do like two lengths of the journal. I'm generous with it, two and then a little extra. All right. I'm gonna thread the needle. This is the needle that I like to use. Okay, and I've got some other needles too. These, these are a little thicker. I mean like this one's a little thicker. It's focusing real well. But this is like my preferred needle. It's got a nice big eye here. And it's not too big, but it's not too small. So this is usually the needle I use all the time. And again, this is personal preference too. I like to have my strings on the outside. I see a lot of people, I think they start from the inside and they like the strings in the inside. It's totally up to you. Okay, so this is, you wanna paper clip your papers in, line them all up how you want them. Okay, and then I'm just gonna line it up. I'm gonna take my all. See if I can zoom in a little bit here. Try to be in frame. Okay. And I am going to just eyeball it. We'll see how it works out. Hopefully this tutorial is okay. <laughs> this is why I don't, this part is not something that's like real, you know, sexy. It's just, it is what it is here. All right. And like I said, I eyeball it. Okay, I'm gonna move that paper down a little bit. Oh, that one was dead on. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little practice. Okay, great. All right, so we got those. So I'm just gonna set that over here. And now this is our front signature. And once again, I'm just gonna Lay it on here. 
line it up and I'm gonna eyeball it. Okay. And that worked out good. Um, okay. All right. So now we've got our string and it was like, you know, about two lengths and then a little extra thread of the needle. And I'm going to have my strings from the outside. Okay. So I'm going to find the middle hole. I'm going to go through. Oops. I'm going to start from the back middle hole. All right. And this was that signature. And honestly, this is probably like my least favorite thing to do <laughs> when I make journals is to sew the signatures. Okay. Now we're just going to pull that through here. You know, you're going to want to leave a nice tail, either if you're starting from the outside or the inside. Okay. So we... Now we're going to go back through this hole. Make sure you find the right hole there and you're going in the right one. All right, and we're going to just pull it through. Okay, so we've gone through those. Now we're going to skip all the way down here and go to the last hole. Okay, all right. And we're pulling it through. Okay. So now we're gonna go back through the same hole. And you just wanna be careful when you go back through this hole that you don't go through this, this thread and splice the thread. Because if you do that, you're not gonna get a good um, pull. You're not gonna get, you're gonna know that that happened when you go to tighten it up and you're not, it's not going to secure your signature. Now you've got, this is how I like to do it. All right. So you've got one string, whoops, sorry. You've got one string on this side and one string on this side. Okay. That's how I, and they're both underneath this main string. That's how I do it. And I pull like down and up and you just want to make sure that it's nice and snug in there. All right, if you're not getting a good pull here, you might have pulled this thread through this thread, if that makes sense, and you spliced it, okay? And now I'm just gonna tie a knot, and I do a square knot, and then I'm gonna go under, and then I like to tie bows. So I'm gonna tie two bows, one, and two, and if you don't like it on the outside, you can, you know, do it on the inside and just tie knots and tie it off. Okay, you just want to have a square knot at least. And that is our, um, one of our signatures. Okay, I've got all that. I'm going to do the second one. I might speed this up a little bit. It's the same process. Two lengths with a little extra cut it off starting here now we're going to so on the other signature let's see all right we got it first try <laughs> sometimes I take the paper clips off uh, after I've you know put all the holes in there just to just to sew it into the binding it makes it easier for me it's personal preference okay and then we're gonna go back into this hole Pull it through. All right, we're leaving a pretty decent tail there. Okay. All right, and now we're gonna go through the last hole. This is <laughs> this isn't pretty today. I'm struggling here. All right, and now we're gonna go back through the middle hole here and make sure not to splice your thread. 
and we're pulling it. And then you want one of the strings on one side and one on the other. Just make sure you don't cross them here. All right, and you're gonna just pull and tighten. So I've got one thread on one side, one on the other, and I'm just gonna pull tight like that. I'm gonna tie it. And then we're gonna tie it the other way. I'm gonna make a bow. All right, and now we've got both the signatures. And you, you don't have to leave the strings this long. You can cut them down if you want. All right, it looks like I've got a couple spots here where the leaf peeled up. Let me see, I just took my acrylic paint pen Yeah, I might have to get my paints out and go over that a little bit. Uh, I fixed it. <laughs> that is fine with me. I am not into perfection <laughs> with this journal. It's just going to be for fun. So there. All right. Okay, I kind of like this pen. This and I still need to um, secure that and I will do that. All right, so let's take a look at our journal. We've got all the pages in here, just a bunch of fun papers. All right, now we'll add some fabric to the side and I'll show you how to do that without the sewing option. Okay, so we have our signatures sewn in. We've got our front and back pockets glued in. And now I'm just gonna add some fabric. And normally I would sew, but I'm showing you another option, um, a no-sew option. If you want to add fabric and you don't have a sewing machine, um, you can just staple the fabric to the page. I just ruffle it a bit and then add a staple. Or you could glue it. And then you can always just put something over the staple. So I'm just going to speed this up and add some fabric and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so there we have it. I added some fabric. I love the scrappy look of the fabric coming out of the journal. That's the back and the front. We've got nice pockets and we've got all these colorful pages in here. Well, I hope you enjoyed these videos and that you either follow along with me or this inspires you to get out to your um, supplies and just have some fun and create a uh, trashy art junky leaf journal. Also stay tuned for some up and coming videos and what we'll do is I'm going to pick some of these prompts and we can start working in the journal. And I'm going to try and have a video like once a week, but when I know more of a schedule, I'll let you know and I'll put it up on my community page and we'll just have some fun and we'll be creative in the fall. We'll just play around with some prompts and with our leaf journal. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this series, if you like my content, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. I'm curious to know if you try this or if you're going to try it, and if you want to participate in um, the fall prompts also. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have some time to um, get outside and enjoy some sun and also to find some time to create uh, for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.